<laughs> Hello guys, this is Apps. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Why are you so annoying? <laughs> You're a disaster. Are you getting ready for gym or not yet? It's yeah. half past six now. Oh, yeah, so maybe, yeah. I'm not going to this. It's not, it, um, oh wow. <laughs> Hi guys, good morning. It's an exciting day today. Matt and I are going out for a quick lunch. Our lunch spot is one hour and 20 minutes away in Sirius to be exact. We are a little bit late because the time now is like 10 to 12 and our lunch reservation is 2.30. So we're just making a few drinks. I'm making coffee. Mads is making um, some cold water for himself. And then we are out of here. We are going to this place. It's called Postures. It's in series. It's one hour and 20 minutes away. I'm sure we've all seen pictures of this place. It's famous for that beautiful white chapel. So yes, we are going there. Who knows? Maybe we are going to get married today. I don't know. You just have to stay tuned. Maybe Mads is going to propose again. <laughs> Let me finish up with my coffee and then we can get going because we are going to be late. I was still talking about how beautiful Matt is looking today. I didn't know that this color would be so perfect for you. Salmon. Okay. I'm sorry, Salmon. <laughs> uh, okay, babes. We need to get going. Are you ready? Okay. I'm almost ready. Okay, wonderful. My coffee is ready. Matt got me this from Lyon, after that? Lyon, Lyon. Lyon, Paris got me this cup because apparently I am a lover of Starbucks cups. So yeah, we have to go. After a few minutes on the road, we arrived at the very beautiful postures. If you are planning on coming here, I would suggest that you have a confirmed booking because at the gate, they will ask for your reservation. Okay, Salmon. Oh my goodness, how beautiful. I know, right? Absolutely. Wow. This is so nice. Here is a better clip of the chapel. As beautiful and as crisp as this footage is, it does not do the place justice. This place is so beautiful. <coughs> so beautiful the chapel is in a wine farm so around the chapel you will find kilometers and kilometers of grape vines so here is a 360 of the chapel Oh my goodness, I am 
inside of the chapel. My goodness, it is so pretty here. I'm glad we came today because the venue is booked for the next few days, I think starting tomorrow. But yeah, this is the chapel, you guys. It's so beautiful. The views, imagine standing there with the priest and your groom. I mean, like, your guests would also have, like, ah, undisturbed views to the mountains and all the luscious green trees. It's absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm thinking that that's what fit around. I don't know, maybe like 80 to 100 people depending on how big the people are because these are benches. Your, this is beautiful. I cannot wait to take more pictures. I gotta go. Look at me. Just walking around like I am a wedding planner or I am a bride to be. This place is so beautiful. The place is surrounded by very beautiful big green trees that are also fruit bearing and upon walking the grounds a bit more we stumbled across this very beautiful cemetery the place seems to be family owned because most of these tombstones had the same last name suggesting that the place is family owned anyway how beautiful is this water and the sound this is another walkway where you can find water flowers and the beautiful sound of water there's so much to do here after walking and the heat almost melting us away we decided to head on over for our lunch so this is the place i think they also have accommodation here like if you are a guest that wants to sleep over i think you can do that as well i think they have accommodation so this is us at the parking just to show you how big this place is you see how far the chapel is we had to drive up from there anyway upon parking the car we walked a little bit to the right where we found this wooded walkway and just under that walkway was this pond that was filled with cape koi fish as well as this other dark colored fish so we enjoyed that after watching the fish for a while the heat was too much it became so unbearable that we decided to go to the restaurant this is us making our way to our restaurant which was called Bosch J's uh, Combates I think the um, menu is quite limited just two sides three or four desserts three or four mains three or four um, starters so this is what we had maids had a beef fillet and i had a pan fried um line fish we are done with eating so we are gonna go and take a few more clips we'll go and take a few more clips of the grapevines there's a shop the what else do we need to see mm. us is there anything else we need to do no, no? it's okay mm. okay how was the food nice food okay so the heat. <laughs> i know the heat was unbearable right uh -huh. and out of 10 how do you rate the food eight okay mm. service
was okay you had it to get some 10 out of 10 for me the food was definitely a 10 service absolute 10 um yes a definite 10 overall experience i'll give it a nine the one point is because everything not everything the chocolate as well as the restaurant is far away from each other but i understand because if you are having a um, wedding at the chapel you don't want people coming into the restaurant and it's all of that but um yeah love 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 the entire place definitely 10 out of 10 loved it loved loved it would i return here would we come back here yeah me too yeah, definitely yes from so that uh, with uh, 40 to me <laughs> no but we didn't plan for it to be this hot i really didn't think it would be this hot yeah is it so yeah we gotta go we'll take a few more clips uh with matt's drone and yes i hope the shop has got some ice cream or something let's put it in ice cream because uh, they don't have vanilla ice cream so yeah it's been real people it's been real Thank you, babe. Oh my god, I'm in the heat. You just wanna run. Wow. <sighs> what are we looking at? Yes. Do you feel like we should move here? Yeah. Oh, the heat. I'm just under the tree now. Meds found a nice shaded spot. So he's going to park here now. Just so when we come back, the car is not too hot. So oh, I'm going to leave my bag here as well. I don't need it for anything. Like I said, the place is humongous. The place is so big that they have decided to build these taps over here and there just so that if you must be dehydrated whilst you are just busy scouring the ground you will be able to rehydrate so the place is so big and the heat was so intense that there are some places that we couldn't get to like this viewing area here we couldn't get to that but luckily the drone got to capture that just look at how far the restaurant is once again here's a view of the grape vines My beautiful walk was interrupted by something moving in the bushes and so this is me just running away from whatever that was and this uh, walkway led me to the very beautiful shop where they had amazing stuff like woven baskets and they didn't have ice cream well we didn't ask for ice cream but there's lime and orange and lemon trees here there is a playground they also have a shaded um, sitting area so this was good i'm sure you can see just the excitement from my hopping The heat was becoming too much and it was excruciatingly hot, especially for me. So we decided to go home, but not before we made our way 
to the beautiful grapevines. We are back from Bosches. I'm hoping that's how you pronounce it. We are back from our little lunch days. My goodness, was that place hot? It was 39 degrees and we got to Cape Town. It was 29 degrees. And I was like, what? 10 degrees difference. You imagine how hot it was. At some point it got to 40, like Matt said in the video. It was crazy. It was crazy, but we had an amazing time and we are back home now uh it's cooler which is good i am now just trying to edit the video that we took that was so quick oh my goodness you look so nice yeah. your towel it's on my side of the cupboard i left it there yes so anyway Guys, I think this is going to be the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed our little trip to Bosch's. I am going to be at home editing because I need to do this today if I want it out on Sunday. Uh, Mads is just going to go to the gym quickly for one hour and 30 minutes or one hour. I don't know. I'm going to have my little cold something here while I edit. Luckily, I will have enough time to edit as I will not be making any dinner today. I'm not cooking. So Matt is going to have McDonald's. I'm going to have Nando's. So that will give me more time to sit here and focus on my editing. So yeah, I'm not going to the gym today. I'll go another day. That is going to be the end of this week's video. I hope you have enjoyed the video very, very much. If you have any questions, any comments, you leave them down below in the comment section. If you are not yet subscribed, be sure to do that and click on the notification bell. This way you will be updated whenever I drop a video. This is going to be the end of this week's video. I am going to enjoy my little cold drink over here and edit this for Sunday. Matt is just on his way to the gym. I'm not going to go today because I really do want to finish and edit this today. It is Thursday today. I want to finish and edit this today and make sure that I post it tomorrow, which is Friday, because our Saturday is quite busy, so I won't have time to sit and edit, and editing takes a lot of hours for me. So, yeah, I am gonna sit here and wait for me to come back. He's gonna shower and go grab us some dinner. We are not cooking today. We are going to have, he's having McDonald's, I'm having Nando's. And then we're gonna finish watching our um, series. What are we watching now? We are watching The Messiah. We have five more episodes to go in that. So that's what we're gonna do when he comes back from getting us dinner. So I have around three hours to do all of this. So that's great. And three hours, I can do a lot. Once again, I hope you've had an amazing Sunday. Until our next video, you stay happy.